soft and friendly listen she's purring huh. we need to think of a name what should we call her mrs fluffy boots <laughs> this is fluffy boots that's funny <laughs> poor mrs fluffy boots are you lost Topsy, do you think Bobby will let us keep her? I don't know. I'll go and ask Mummy, and I'll carry on stroking her. Mummy, Mummy! Good morning, Tim. You've got to come upstairs quick. What? What is it? Please come, Mummy. Why? What is it? Come. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. I'll follow you. Go on. Come on, going on. Come. When Mummy meets Mrs. Fluffy Boots, she likes her just as much as we do. Oh, you are a lovely girl. So, we ask if we can keep her. Pleasey, pleasey, double, please. Can we keep Mrs. Fluffy Boots, Mummy? Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Topsy and Tim. You can't. She belongs to somebody else. Look at this lovely collar. She's very well cared for. So, you mean someone has lost her? Yes, and imagine how you'd feel if you lost Wiggles the rabbit. I'd be very sad. Mm -hmm. So would I. Well, Mrs Fluffy Boot's owner is probably looking for her right now. We've got to help them find her. But how will they know she's here? I've got an idea. We could take a photograph of Mrs. Fluffy Boots and show all the people down our road the picture. Yes, to see if they know her owner. That's a brilliant idea. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs. Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Fluffy Boots, we'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs. Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Me, I press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Nice. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone will know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. <laughs> Come on, Topsy. Oh, okay, yes, We crossed the road safely with Mummy. OK. Let's look left. Right. Left again. Are we clear? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Tracy Miller! Hi, Josie! Hi, Topsy and Tim! Hi! Why have you got that big plaster on your forehead? Just... It's because I fell off my bike. <laughs> <laughs> we tell Josie Miller and her mum about Mrs Fluffy Boots. Um... But they don't know who owns the cat. No, sorry. Mr Fenn might know who that cat belongs to. Why don't you go and ask him? Oh, okay. yeah, hey, Mr Fenn! Mr Fenn, Mr Fenn! <laughs> We ask Mr Fenn if he knows who the cat belongs to. Do you know who this cat belongs oh. to? But Mr Fenn doesn't know who owns Mrs Fluffy Boots either. I'm afraid I don't at all. Mind you, I've got an idea who might know. Why don't you try Jamie the postman? Yeah, he might be able to help. <gasps> Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Jamie, Jamie! Jamie! Get on the pavement, please, you two. OK, Mummy. Please, Jamie, do you know who this cat 
belongs to. Oh. No, sorry. Thanks, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank Jamie. you. Bye. We're never going to find this fluffy boots owner. Tell you what, why don't we have a break and have some lunch? And then we can come back and look for Mrs. Fluffy Boots only this afternoon, OK? OK. It'll be all right. Mm. We all had salmon for lunch. And Mrs. Fluffy Boots drank water from one of Mossy's dog bowls. You're happy in our house, aren't you, Mrs. Fluffy Boots? <laughs> I wish you could stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this where Topsy and Tim live? Yes. <sighs> yes, we're Topsy and Tim. Oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think you may have found my cat. And mm -hmm. Mrs Higley Piggly and I live... The lady the... says she lives at the end of our road. And her name is Mrs Higley Piggly. Oh, look, there you are. How lovely to see you. Isn't Jamie the postman marvellous? He said if you've lost your cat, go and knock on the door of Topsy and Tim, and here I am. We will miss you, Mrs Fluffy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Fluffy Boots? Is that what you call him? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Topsy, but Mrs Fluffy Boots isn't a Mrs... It's a mister. He's a boy. Oh, oh yes. A boy? Yes. Oh, even better. And his name is Tiger. <gasps> Tiger! Hello, Tiger. Hello, Tiger Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots. Oh, that's splendid. I shall call you Tiger Fluffy Boots from now on. <laughs> Come on, let's get some Tiger Fluffy Boots. In his oh, yes. Here we Come go. On. Now you know where Come you on, live. Tiger. There we go. Oh, and that's when Mrs. Higgly Piggly said, Please come and have tea with us very soon. Please come and have tea with us very soon, Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, come we, Mummy, come we, come we. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, Mrs. Higgly Piggly. Oh, thank you. Now, off we, we go. go. Oh, that's Will you? Oh, thank, thank you very you much. Too. I'll open the door. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. Let me take him now. Oh, yes. Got him. Heavy, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Bye-bye, Topsy and Tim. And thank you again. And that said Mrs Higgly Piggly. Was that? Bye-bye. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we found a lost cat. But can you remember what we used to take a photo of the cat? Was it Mummy's mobile phone? Or was it Dad's pocket camera? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Mummy's mobile phone. Watch this. <laughs> yes, please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots, we'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Okay, and press that button there. OK. Say bye, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Bye. bye. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Morning, 
Tot ziens, Sim. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dad. Mwah. It's our first morning in our new house. Jesus, can you put them in the dishwasher, please? OK. And we still haven't unpacked all of the boxes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, you have. <laughs> Dishwasher's over there, Daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the thing we love most of all about our new house is our new pet rabbit. Please, can we go and give our rabbit his breakfast now, Mummy? And your pyjamas? Yes! Please, double, please. Double, triple, please, please. <laughs> All right, just this once. Mm. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Rabbit. Hello, Bunny. Yesterday, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. There we go. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. That's nice, Tim. Let the rabbit smell your fingers and then, then stroke him, OK? Perfect. There's his food. OK, thank you. We need to think of a name for our rabbit. What are you going to call him? Uh, what about... Zebra? Because he's black and white. No, he doesn't look like a zebra. He's more grey than black. And he's too small and snuggly. <laughs> I know, Snuggles! Yes, Snuggles! Snuggles? No. I don't think he likes that name. I like Fluff. Or Twitchy! Yes, we can call him Twitchy! At some point, you two will decide on the perfect name for your rabbit. But right now, you need to get ready for nursery school. Aww. Oh, I want her to care for him. I want her to clean out his heart. And you can do that later. But now Dad's all set to take you to nursery school. No more stroking. I'll put him in his run. So, hop it. <laughs> OK, Mummy. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. We'll be back, Rabbit. Come on, Dad, hurry up. When we get home from nursery school, we can't wait to see our rabbit. Scooters in the pot, please. We've told all our friends about our lovely rabbit. Tony Welch thinks we should call our rabbit Jack. After his baby brother. And Carrie thinks we should call him Moon after my little moon bunny. Boing. Hello. Where is he? <laughs> Mummy! Dad! Where's, Where's the rabbit? rabbit? Just over here. I'm showing him the garden. Oh. Oh, rabbit. So soft, Mummy. Please may I go and clean out the rabbit's hutch now, Mummy? Yeah, of course you can, Tim. Come and help me get the stuff. I can look after him while you do it, Tim. Okay, Topsy. Please can I show the rabbit our living room? Yes, of course you can, Topsy. Let's go inside. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Come on! All that into there, please. Yeah. Very good. So I care for our rabbit in the living room while Tim cleans out his hut. I think he's getting used to me, Mummy. Rabbits don't always like being stroked, so not too much stroking, Topsy. Lunch. Oh, coming. <sighs> now, where should we put the rabbit once we have lunch? I know, I would have thought. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you pull it out, Topsy? Good girl, let me help. Whoops, that's it's all right. fallen off. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. Oops. There you go, Rabbit. You'll be nice and safe in there once we have lunch. And there's a doorway hole this side. Here you go, Bunny. Nessa Tiger will look after you. Oh, that's a nice idea, Topsy. Come on, let's go and super wash your hands. Hello, Bunny. Call the rabbit Patch. Oh. While we eat Dad's special sandwiches, we think of more names. I know. We could call it Lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> or Carrot. <gasps> I've got it. We could call it Peanut Butter. <laughs> Yum. 
<laughs> You're funny, Dad. <laughs> After lunch, we take our rabbit a little treat and see that he's already hungry. He's been nibbling our farts. Mm. We bought some letters for you. And look at little tiger. Oh, no. He's been nibbled. Oh, he's been gnawing, hasn't he? That's what rabbits do to make themselves feel at home. And to make sure that their teeth don't get too long. Let me grab him. Come on. Oh, no, so good. Come here. Whoopsie. And there we go. Hello. You want something to gnaw on, don't little rabbit? Yeah, he does. I'm going to clean and mend your chewed up wooden foot. To make sure you don't gnaw any more of Topsy and Tim's toys, we'll find you something else to nibble on. I know what he needs! I tear up empty cardboard boxes for our rabbit to gnaw on. Oh, yes! He's a recycling rabbit! Here you go, little rabbit! <laughs> Some nibbly gnawing cardboard for you. Oh, that's really good thinking, Topsy and Tim. But old cardboard isn't always very good for, for little rabbits. Oh, okay. oh, but look, I've just remembered that Mr Fishwick sent you something for your new pet. Look. Gnaw sticks for your new pet. Oh, yeah. These will be perfect for our new rabbit. Let's give him one. Give it a try. <gasps> his nose wiggly. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly nose. <laughs> Hello, Wiggles. <gasps> yes, Wiggles. That's what we should call him. Yes, we can call him Wiggles. <laughs> That's a brilliant name. I wish Carrie could see you, Wiggles. Oh, Carrie will meet Wiggles very soon. <laughs> At night time, Wiggles went to sleep in his bed, in our back garden, and we got ready to go to sleep in our beds. Hey, Quint. I just met our neighbours from across the road, Mrs Miller and her daughter, Josie. Mm. They seem very nice. Wait. I've seen a girl over the road that's riding a red bicycle. Is that Josie? Yes. Josie's a bit older than you. She's nearly six. And guess what? Josie is going to come round and play with you tomorrow. Yes! Hey! And that's when Dad says... You are going to make a new friend in our new road. You're going to make a new friend in our new road, Topsy and Tim. Yay! Can we show Wiggles to Josie? Yes, of course we can. Yes. Wiggles? Oh. Yes, that's our rabbit's name. <laughs> oh, I see. Wiggles the rabbit. I like it. Come on, you two, wiggle yourselves into bed. Oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And that, said Mummy, was that. Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we named our new pet Wiggles. But what kind of animal is Wiggles? Is Wiggles a cat? Or is Wiggles a rabbit? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Hello, rabbit. Hello, bunny. Yesterday, Topsy gave our rabbit its food. Today, it's my day. And it's my turn to fill up the water bottle. That's nice, Tim. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Hi, 
Carrie. Hi. Come on in, everybody. Hi, Joy. Hi, Topsy. Oh, hi, Carrie. Hi, Topsy. Poppy and Bailey are here. Hi, Carrie, her mum, dad, and brother Jaden are going away for a few days. So they've brought Carrie's guinea pigs to our house for us to look after them. Oh, they're so cute. They're called Poppy and Bailey. That one's called Bailey. So smelly. And that one's called Poppy. Let's put Poppy in. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. I think Poppy's a bit nervous. Well, it's time for us to go. Oh, OK. Oh, that's it. <gasps> Thank you for looking after Poppy and Bailey twins. <laughs> Give Poppy and Bailey their feed and lots of cuddles. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we will. <laughs> good. And the hutch is in the garden, so they'll be very happy sleeping out there. All right. <laughs> we won't forget to keep their hutch clean and cosy for them. Bye, pets. Bye-bye, Topsy and Tim. Bye, Bye Carrie. Them now, please. No, not just yet. You can later on once they've settled in, because this house and you are all new to them. Okay? But it's lunchtime, so come on, double wash your hands. Let them settle in. Okay, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> After we've had our lunch, the guinea pigs are a bit more used to our house. Mummy lets us hold them for the first time. <laughs> There you I think go. I like Bailey. Good girl, hold her nice. There you we go. Soft and snuggly, Bailey. Oh, you are holding her really her well, eyes. Topsy. Good girl. Please, may I hold Poppy now? Yes, Tim. Mummy says if we look after Poppy and Bailey nicely this weekend, we can have a pet of our own when we move. There we go. You There's ready? a man in our garden. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. What? Let's pop Bailey back in and I'll explain. He's putting a sign up, Mummy. Yes, he's been sent from the estate agents. They're putting a sign up to say that our house is for sale. Why? Well, so that anyone looking for a house to buy can see it. Hello! Wave, Tim. <laughs> oh, he's going now. Bye-bye. Bye. The door of the cage is open! Oh no! Oh. Where's Poppy gone? I can't see Bailey anywhere. Um, we've lost them. <laughs> Mummy, sorry, we haven't looked after them very well. Oh, I should have checked that the gate was shut. Come on, we'll find them. Okay. Might be under the sofa. Mommy? Have a look over there. Is it under here? Let's see. Poppy, Bailey! Poppy, Bailey! Where are you? Oh. Poppy, Bailey! Poppy, Bailey! Bailey! Poppy! No, they're not in there either. Maybe they're by the toys. Oh, good idea. I'll have a look in the hall by the shoes and boots. OK. We search everywhere, all afternoon. But we can't find the guinea pigs. They're not upstairs, Tim. What are we going to do? Mummy, what if we never find Kerry's guinea pigs? We will. We just have to keep looking. Hmm. I know. Mr Fishwick keeps pet rabbits. He might know what to do. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, Tim. Thank you for helping us, Mr Fishwick. Well, now tell me again what happened, Topsy and Tim. Well, we were looking after Kerry's guinea pigs while she's away, but they got out of their run. 
And now we can't find them anywhere in the house. Mm. Not even in their own house. I see. <laughs> Escaped guinea pigs. Right. Well, we'd better get this sorted. <coughs> Mr Fishwick knows just what to do. If you're looking for a guinea pig, you've got to think like a guinea pig. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it's like this. Have you been calling for them in a loud voice? Yes, very loud. Ah, well, that's not the right thing to do. You imagine, if you're really small and you hear a lot of shouting, well, what would you do? Hide. Well done. And what would you feel? Hmm. Scared. That's right. So you wouldn't want to come out, would you? Now, what do you think would make you want to come out? I know food! Exactly. So where's the guinea pig's food, Topsy? That's it. Now then. Get that box out. There's a good girl. There so you manage. Now if you if you shake that, when they hear it, they'll think it's dinner time. Well done, Topsy. <laughs> That's the idea. That's it. Shake the guinea pig's food box again. That's very good. And no loud noises though, Topsy. That's it. Shake the food box again. Now, Tim, no sudden movements. Just very quietly. And listen, listen. You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Now we need to make sure we close the gate. Perfect. Thank you, Tim. You guinea pigs are very good at escaping and hiding. Mummy? Yes, Topsy? Please, can we have a pet of our own when we move house? And that's when Mummy said, Yes, I, I think, think so. Yes, I think so, Topsy and Tim. You can have a pet when we move house because you are very caring and loving pet sitters. Hooray! <laughs> We're getting our pets! 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 And remember what Mr Fishwick said. No loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Mummy. Was that? Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Poppy and Bailey escaped today. Can you remember where they were hiding? Were they under the sofa? Or were they in Mummy's handbag? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Mummy's handbag. Watch this. Look, there's Poppy and Bailey. There they are. Hey, it's Poppy and Bailey. They want Mummy's handbag all along. Oh, my goodness. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!
Here's Wiggles. Wow. Oh, cool. Tony, if you sit down on the sofa quietly for me, I'll pop him on your lap. Make sure you shuffle back and your knees together. Knees together. Ah. I bet that's a good position. Wiggles, this is Tony Welch. He will look after you. Here we go. There you go. And just give him a lovely cuddle. Oops. Not all rabbits like being picked up and stroked, but Wiggles seems to. Are you Wiggles? He likes you, Tony. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a rabbit. We should get a rabbit friend for Wiggles. Mm. You're so cute and spotty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's happened? Wiggles scratched me. Look. Oh, I don't want to hold him anymore. Can I see you again? Oh, it's only a little scratch, Tony. I'll get Mummy. Mummy! You're being very brave. How's your hand, Tony? All oh, stingy. Oh, it'll feel better soon. I thought Wiggles liked me. He does. It was just an accident. Can you get a plaster for me, please, Topsy? Mummy says that Wiggles might not like all the picking up anymore. I might pick some dancing around these Wiggles. Oh, well done, Tim. I think I'm going to... Thank you, Topsy. I'm going to have to have a look at Wiggles' nails. I think they might need cutting. Please, can I watch you cut them, Mummy? I don't know how to cut rabbit's nails properly, Topsy, so no. I'm going to have to take Wiggles to the vet to get his nails cut properly. There you go, Tony. All done. Would you like to feed Wiggles some of the dandelion leaves now? No, thank you. I want to go home now, please. I'm sorry Wiggles scratched you, Tony. That's OK. He didn't mean it. Look, Wiggles. After Tony's dad collects him, Mummy phones the vet. Whoa, Wiggles' nails are really long. Good news. Wiggles can have his nails cut today. We'll take the bus to the vet, OK? Oh, Wiggles hasn't ever been on the bus before, Mummy. Well, it'll be fine. Um, I'll just go and find his carry basket. Oh, I know where it is. Oh, do you? Wiggles, I just want to let you know that the bus isn't scary. Just sometimes a little bit noisy. Kind of like... Um, um. Pick him up very gently, mm. Tim. And did you know that it can sometimes be just not much, but a little bit shaky? Then all the people get off at the station and then it goes... Ow! Wiggles! Ow! Scratch me! Oh, Tim. All right. Come on, Wiggles. That's nice and clean. Mummy cleans my leg and puts on some antiseptic cream. Okay. And a plaster. You know, Wiggles would say sorry if he could talk. I know. But I don't want to pick up Wiggles anymore. Oh, you will, once Wiggles has had his nails cut. Oh, we need to catch our bus. Will you please put Wiggles in his basket whilst I clear up these things? Topsy can put Wiggles in his basket for me, Mummy. <sighs> All right, go on, you go and get it to help you and I'll put these away. Topsy! 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 Wiggles just scratched me, look. Oh, dear. You need to get Wiggles into his basket. OK. Wiggles! Wiggles knows all the best cosy places in our living room. And our kitchen. Mummy says it's important that he can wander around inside and outside. He needs exercise. <gasps> there he is! He's eating grass. No, he's eating dandelion leaves. It's his favourite food. Oh. Come on, Wiggles, it's time to get in your basket. Come on. You're going to have to pick him up, Topsy. No. He might scratch me next. Come on, Wiggles. He doesn't want to go into his basket. 
Oh, can you pick them up, please, Tim? No, I don't want to get scratched again. Come on, Wiggles. Oh, come on. Wait, I know how to get Wiggles to come into the basket without picking him up. How? What are you doing, Tim? I'm picking some dandelion leaves. Look, I put one there, one here, and you can have these. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. We've made a trail of nice juicy dandelion leaves for you, Wiggles. I'll put one in this cage. Come on, Tim, let's watch from in here. in his basket. Who picked him up? No one. We made a trail of dandelion leaves that led Wiggles into his basket. He's a very clever rabbit, you know. He is. He really is. I know. And as soon as we get home from the vets, you can get him out and play with him again. I don't want to pick Wiggles up anymore. He scratches. Topsy and Tim, when Wiggles' nails have been cut, you will be able to pick him up and care for him just like you always used to. I promise. Now, who wants to go and catch a bus? Yay! Yay! Come, on. Come on, Wiggles. Don't forget Wiggles. I've got Wiggles. Wait for me to open the door, please, Topsy. Good girl. Welcome home, Wiggles. You're such a good rabbit at the vets. Here we go. Should we get you We're out? back. Wiggles was really well behaved on the bus and at the vets, he sat very still when his nails are trimmed. He may still scratch, but only a little bit now. See, his nice short nails. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you hold him, Tim? There you go. We need to get another rabbit soon to keep this lovely rabbit company. Hello, lovely Wiggles. I'm sorry I didn't want to be with you before. Now I do. And I know you won't scratch me again. Will you, Wiggly Wiggly Rabbit? And <laughs> next time, we'll take you to the vets before your nails get too long. <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Wiggles, Wiggles is a very lucky rabbit. rabbit. Wiggles is a very lucky rabbit, Topsy and Tim. To have you two to look after him and to have more dandelion leaves for his tea. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we took Wiggles to the vet. Can you remember what we gave Wiggles to eat before his journey? Was it dandelion leaves? Or was it a carrot? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. The answer is dandelion leaves. Watch this. I know how to get Wiggles to come into the basket without picking him up. How? What are you doing, Tim? I'm picking some dandelion leaves. Look, if I put one there, one here, and you can have these. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. We've made a trail of nice juicy dandelion leaves for you, Wiggles. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon!
Today, I'm watching Mummy clear out our playhouse because I can't go to school. I'm still getting better after my appendicitis operation. The playhouse needed a really good spring clean. Do Topsy, but your tummy is not well enough for hula hooping yet. I knew you'd see that. Look, you need to just sit down and take it easy for me, okay? Um, can you have a look through these boxes and see if there's anything that you want to keep? Oh. Mummy, when is Grandma coming? <laughs> I've told you so many times, Topsy Twin. Grandma's coming over later this afternoon when she takes Mossy for her walkies. Mummy, what will Tim be doing at school now? Tim will probably be playing with his friends about now, I would have thought. And you will be going back to school again very soon as well. But you've got to do what the doctor says and take it easy, OK? I know that. But what shall I do while you're finishing off clearing out the playhouse? What would you like to do? Go on the swing? Uh, no. <laughs> Not until you're better. You have just had a really big operation. Hello! Hello! It's DIY Derek. Come on! Hi, DIY Derek. Hello! What are you doing in Mr Fenn's garden? I'm, uh, just fixing his fence for him. And I brought a friend along with me to help. DIY Derek. She's called Teddy. She's three years old and my wife and I have only just got her. Please may I stroke Teddy, Mummy? Please, the wall, please. <laughs> yes, of course you can. If DIY Derek says it's OK. Of course. Teddy loves to be stroked. Don't you, Teddy? You like to be stroked, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. I'll tell you what, I'll finish with this panel and I'll bring her around to your garden, Topsy. OK. All right, see you Thank in a bit. You. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? When he's finished, DIY Derek comes to our garden for a cup of tea and I play with Teddy. Come here. Teddy, Teddy, come Thank you. Thank you. She's so soft. You know, Topsy, she likes to have her tummy tickled too. Teddy, come on. And come Topsy, on. she likes to play with her rubber bone. Oh. Teddy, here you go. She likes her garden. Oh, she's a. She's probably sniffed something interesting. She likes to explore. <laughs> yeah. She'll come back to you soon, Topsy. Don't worry. Oh, it's the phone. I won't be a minute, Derek. OK. Teddy! Teddy! Can you see her? Come on! Oh, look. Topsy, I've just remembered something. Look. Oh! My wife bought some doggy snacks. Look. I think she recognises the, the rustle of the bag, doesn't she? <gasps> she likes her doggy snacks. Yes. Feed her one, but keep your hand nice and flat for I know me. how to feed her because we feed our grandma's dog, Mossy, a lot. Oh. There, she likes that, <laughs> doesn't she? <laughs> Don't you <laughs> like oh, she's that? gorgeous. Mummy, I was feeding the dog. Oh, she's a hungry little doggy, isn't she? Yeah. Just one every now and again is fine, Topsy. I'll tell you what, I'll put these back in my pocket for now. <laughs> yes. Oh, Topsy, do you remember <laughs> Grandma was coming over here this afternoon? Yes. Well, that was Grandma on the phone. And it turns out that Mossy's not very well today. Oh. So she was wondering if we could go round to her house instead? Short walk would be all right for you, wouldn't it, Topsy? Yes, and, 
and Teddy and I really must get back to Mr Fenn's garden. Back to the garden next door. Have oh, we? but can I just play with Teddy for a bit longer, please? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. Teddy and Derek need to get back to work. But you are getting to see two doggies today. You're going to see Mossy and Teddy. OK? So we're going to say goodbye, say... Bye-bye, Topsy. <laughs> Bye-bye, <laughs> Teddy. Next time, come and play with me and Tim. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Derek, mm? please may I take one of your special um, Teddy snacks so I can give it to Mossy? Yes, of course. Teddy won't mind, will you, Teddy? Oh, here we are. Oh. There we are. Thank you, Derek. OK. Oh, I'll put one in a bag for you. Thank you. Oh, look. She's very interested in something over there, isn't she, Topsy? Yeah. Where is she? I can't see She's her. She's gone in the bush. Shall we go and have a look? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, look. Look. What's she found? It's just an old ball, isn't it? Oh, it's one of Mossy's old balls. They're everywhere in our garden. Oh, are they? Mummy, please can I take this ball that Teddy found and give it to Mossy to cheer her up? Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, Topsy. Yes, of course you can. Come on, let's go and wash your hands before we go. I'll get my vet's kit and then I can take it to Grandma's house and give it to Mossy to cheer her up. Oh, that's a really good idea. You certainly know how to make dogs very happy, Topsy. <laughs> Good girl, let's go and wash your hands. We walk all the way to Grandma's house. I carry my vet's kit. This is the first proper walk since leaving the hospital. We go slowly. It's Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Hi. Hello, you two. Very well. Huggle! Oh, gentle little huggle. There we go. Ooh. Where is Mossy, Grandma? Oh, she normally comes out to say hello to you, doesn't she? She's just inside having a little sleep. Someone to look after you. She does keep getting tired now she's a bit older. Oh, poor Mossy. Can I do her obs? Oh, yes, of course. Obs. Medical observations. Just like hospital. Clever girl, Topsy. Just do them very gently. That's good. Hear anything? to look in her ear now. Just She's do being it. a very good girl. She is. Just do it from there, OK? Right. Does it seem all right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Topsy, why don't you give her that dog snack? Maybe she'd like that. What's that? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yes. Thank you. Good girl. What do you think, Mossy? Oh. I don't think she wants it right now. Shall I have it to give to her later? But she always likes snacks. I don't think she's feeling very well, darling. Do you remember when you were in hospital? Sometimes you didn't feel like eating either, did you? Mm. Oh. I know. Why don't you give her the ball that we found? <laughs> we found one of her balls, Grandma. Topsy thought she might like it. Look! One. Oh, Here you go, Mossy. Yes. Look at that. Now, can you please just put it down where she can see it, Topsy? She's sniffing it. Did you? Did you? Oh. Oh, oh, oh! She just nuzzled it. Oh, she's remembering its smell. Why don't she just oh. wagged her tail? She's remembering having fun with that ball in our garden. Oh. Oh. 
And that's when Grandma said, You are a very clever vet, Topsy. You're a very clever vet, Topsy. Thank you, Grandma. You really have made her feel better. Right, come on, Topsy. We need to go and pick up Tim from school. Oh, can I stay here, please, Mummy? I think Mossy likes me being here. Yeah, Topsy. I think that's a really good idea. You stay here with Mossy and Grandma. I'll pick up Tim and bring him back here for tea, if that's all right, Grandma. Of course it is. Tea time with Topsy and Tim is just what Mossy needs. I won't be long. Bye, Mummy. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye, Joy. I'm staying with you, Mossy. And that, said Topsy, was that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's lovely. They're beautiful. Now what? These when we go and play in the garden now, Grandma. <laughs> of course. With Mossy. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, let's play fetch. I'll get Mossy's ball right. quick. Just tell me first, Topsy. Can we just put these in the dishwasher, please? Good girl. We love playing with Mossy in our garden. Mossy? Mossy? Wait, where is Mossy? Mossy! Did you know she was a bit quiet on the walk to your house? Oh, Mossy, there you are! Oh. What's wrong, Doggy? Why are you feeling very well, Mossy? Oh. Come on, Mossy, come and have a drink of water. Grandma, Mossy keeps licking her paw. Oh, does she? Well, maybe her paw is sore. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, good girl. There. Oh, look, it, it feels fine. But I'll call the vet and book an appointment for her just to be on the safe side. Oh, poor Mossy. <laughs> I've got your I know. I'll look after you until your appointment at the vet. I'll go and get my vet set. Oh, just remember, Mossy isn't well, Topsy. So don't expect to play and hug with her in the usual way today. OK. <laughs> I know, Mossy. I'll fill up your water bowl. And I'll ask Grandma if we can give you a treat for Moss to cheer you up. I love you. All sorted. I've made Mossy an appointment at the vet's for later today. There. Mossy, there's fresh water in your bowl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well done. Can we give Mossy a treat, please, Grandma? That's a good idea, Tim. Can you fetch her treat tub for me? Oh, yes. <laughs> there aren't any more doggy biscuits left in Mossy's tub. Oh, poor Mossy. I know. We can make some more doggy biscuits. Get well soon, doggy biscuits. <laughs> yes, that is a very kind thought, Tim. But we don't have a dog biscuit recipe. Oh. We could find a dog recipe on the internet, Grandma. That's a very good idea. Could you fetch me my tablet, please, Tim? It's on the hall table in my bag. OK. <laughs> to help us make doggy biscuits for Mossy. Oh, no thanks. I'm going to look after Mossy like a proper vet. OK. <laughs> Grandma and I look up dog biscuit recipes on the internet. While I look after Mossy. Now I'm going to bandage your poor Mossy. I'll show you. I'm going to put a bandage on Dr Sausage Dog's sore paw. Look. There you go, Dr Sausage Dog. You're better now. See, Mossy, it doesn't hurt to have your paw bandaged. Oh, Mossy, are you going to sleep? Grandma, 
Grandma, I, I was going to find Little Mossy's paw, but she's fallen asleep. Oh, the sleep will do her good. Oh, can I help? Yeah. Wash your hands first, please, Topsy. Okay. Now, add half a teaspoon of salt to the flour in the bowl. Now comes the fun bit. Whee! <laughs> Look, Topsy, I'm a snowman. <laughs> Me too. What's next, Grandma? Um, oh, add the egg to the flour and the salt and mix that in. <laughs> <laughs> when the mixture is ready, we make bone-shaped biscuits. Look at mine, Tim. Oh, that's brilliant, Topsy. Well done. They're looking really good, Topsy and Tim. I'm making another bone shape. So am I. Nearly done, Tim. Well done, Topsy and Tim. Now, come on, let's put the first tray in the oven. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Grandma puts the biscuits into the oven to bake. When they're cooked, we have to wait ages until the biscuits are cold enough for Mossy to eat them. These look really yummy, Grandma. Oh, they won't taste very nice to us, Tim, because they're doggy biscuits. Now, just take one each to give to Mossy. Uh, Mossy! Got the some biscuits. Hey, on, Mossy. Come on, Mossy. She's still licking her paw, Grandma. She's still licking her paw. Grandma, Mossy doesn't want her biscuits. Oh, dear. Let's see. There's something in her paw, Grandma. Is there? <gasps> my flat, my flat. Let's see, let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a stone. Mm -hmm. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes, that's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. Need to get out. <laughs> well, 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 what a good thing that Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. Mm. She's all right now. <laughs> Good girl. <gasps> Mummy's oh, back. Mommy's home. Look, Mossy, Mummy's back. Look, what was in Mossy's paw, Mummy? What is this? We tell Mummy all about Mossy's sore paw. And I found a stone in her paw. So, Grandma, does Mossy still need to go to the bath? No, I've cancelled her appointment. And I expect she's feeling a bit hungry. Mm. Look, Mossy, <coughs> I've made you some doggy biscuits. And it's time for you to have one. They're very special. Yes. Here, Mossy. Now, sit, sit first. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Good. Now, take. Good, Good girl, girl. Mossy. Good girl. Good girl. And there's another one here for you. Well done, Topsy and Tim. How clever you are to make get well dog biscuits for Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow. We've got some more baking to do before tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. We're making biscuits for your nursery school friends, do you remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's our last day at nursery school tomorrow. Mm. And we're making biscuits for everyone. Oh, great! Let's find another yummy biscuit recipe. Oh, right yes. now. Watch hands before see. you cook. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Mossy had a sore paw. Can you remember what we found in Mossy's paw? Was it a stone? Or was it a thorn? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is a stone. Watch this. Lie flat, lie flat. Let's have a look. Oh, 
I think it's a stone. Just here in her paw. Oh, yes. That's why she's been licking her paw. Oh. Need to get out. <laughs> well, well, well. What a good thing Vet Topsy was looking after you, Mossy. Now, let me see if I can get it out. <laughs> I've got it out. Look, it is a stone. Oh, yes. <laughs> Why Mossy was licking her paw. That's right. She's all right now. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hi, Mossy. Hi, Mossy. Hi, everyone. Come in, Mum. Oh, I love you. Here. Oh, here. Where's Mossy's ball? Where'd it go? Mummy's away this week. And Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello, Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee! Wee! I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad. Oh, bye. Have lots, Yay! Have lots <laughs> of fun with Grandma. Yay! <laughs> Mossy. And I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, See you Dad. Later. Bye, bye, Dad. <laughs> right, you two. Bath time. But it's huh? not bath time yet, Grandma. No. I know. But I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Oh, bubble bath for Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo. Look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. It's <laughs> got a dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need to test the water for Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try it. Yeah, it's not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's just tickles. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can. Mossy can use our bath step like this. And then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? OK. Thank you. <laughs> Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy! Coming! Ooh. Oh! Well done, Twin. She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. Here we go. Grandma gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, that is like jelly. Can we start? You can. Yes, yeah, yeah, start. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. That's it on her yeah, body. Yeah, bubbly, right. bubbly. Yeah. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, on her body and then down to her legs. Mossy's enjoying her wash. <laughs> so I know it will make it even better. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim. Actually, that is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. Got your ball, Mossy! You can do that if you want. Just wet her neck for her. Just her neck. I've got it! I've got it! Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Oh, I'm all wet! Oh, oh you are! Oops! <laughs> 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 right. Now, I tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK! OK! Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. 
Mossy isn't used to showers like you are. You need to be gentle. Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well done, ah. Topsy and Tim shall soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, 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 sque
Oh, great. There we go. In it goes. Oh, oh, oh I'm all wet. Oh, oh you are. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. When we look after Grandma's dog, Mossy, we feed her and play with her and take her for walks. Here you go, Mossy. A nice drink for you. Oh, Mossy, look, Mossy. Always super wash your hands, please, Tim, after touching Mossy's bowl. OK. Soon it'll be time for your walk, won't it, Mossy? Let's go and find your ball. Come on, Mossy. Come on. I'll get it. That'll be Tony. Wait for me, Tim, before you open the front door. Catch. Love me. Mommy, it's just Tony you want. Yeah. Okay, Tim. You can open the door for Tony. Hello. Hello. Tony's mummy has to go to the doctor's. So Tony is staying to play. Mossy! Come back about five ish, is that okay? Great. See you next time. Mossy! I love you, Mossy! Mossy! Hey! Mossy! 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 I think Mossy really likes me. Tony, look, she's very clever. When I roll the ball to her, she rolls it back again. Show me! Mussy! 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 Push it! Wow! Wow! wow. wow. Clever girl, Mussy! I love you, Mussy! She's so clever! Let's give Mussy a nice treat for yes. being such a clever girl. I think she deserves one. Yes. Wait for me! Mossy, a treat, please. Yes, go ahead. She's been a good dog. Uh, yeah, they're down there, good girl. Mossy knows where they are. Ask Mossy if she wants a treat. Do you want a treat, Mossy? Yes? No. Sit. Sit, Mossy. Sit. Take. Can I give Mossy a doggy treat? No, sorry, you can't, Tony. You see, Grandma says that she can only have one treat at a time. No more, no more, all gone. <laughs> well done, Tim. Now, can you double super wash your hands for me, please? Okay. I'm going to go and wash my hands upstairs, Mummy. Okay. Come on, Mossy. Good girl. Is it time to take Mossy out for her walk now, Mummy? Yes, it is. Can I hold Mossy's lead today? Please, Mrs O'Dell. Yes, you can take it in turns to hold the lead. Now, let's get ready to go out. Come on. Good girl, Mossy. Stay. Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, Mossy, you little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Topsy, before Mossy does anything else silly. OK, Mummy! <laughs> oh, Mossy, you need a walk.
Yeah. I'll see. No pulling. Hurry up, Tootsie. I think Mossy needs a wee. Now, Tim, remember, keep your finger on that button to stop Mossy's lead getting any longer so she can't go any further away, OK? OK. Let's get her to her favourite bit of hedge, quickly. Yeah. Topsy! I'm trying to find Mossy's ball. Yeah, Topsy, I think the ball's underneath the sofa. Thanks, Mummy. Now, Tim, have you remembered the poo bags that Grandma Jean brought round? Oh, no. Sorry, I'll get them. OK. Can I hide Mossy's lead, please? Oh, yes, you can. Hold that for me. I'll just get the phone. I'll be back in a moment. Look after Mossy. Okay. This is a great lead, Mossy. Hello? Oh, Jean, yes. Yeah, no, Mossy's fine. Uh, We're uh, just about to take her for her afternoon walk. Uh, uh oh, come back, Mossy. Oh. No, no. No, it's fine. Don't worry. We'll see you later. Okay, bye. Got it. Was that Grandma, Mummy? Yes, it was. Just to remind us about Mossy's walk. Come on, let's get going. I found the poo bags. Jen, I'll sort this out. You stay here. Poo bag, please, Tim. Here you go. Thank you. I'll be right back. So sorry, don't don't Fishwick. worry about it. It's perfectly natural. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Ah! <laughs> oh, Mr. Fishwick, sorry about Mossy. Ah, oh, you Mossy. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I'll see you later. Go on, Mossy. Good girl. Mr. Fishwick is always really kind to Mossy, isn't he? And that's when Tony said, I, I wonder what your new neighbours will be like. I wonder what your new neighbours will be like, Topsy and Tim. Like Mr. and Mrs. Fishwick, I hope. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Excuse me, in we come. Come on in, Mossy. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Come on, Mossy. Let go of her topsy, sweetheart. Good girl. Come on, Mossy. There we go. Good girl. Mummy, will our new neighbours be just as kind to Mossy? Like Mr and Mrs Fishwick are? Yes, I should think so. Now, I need to wash my hands and then we can go for walkies. But I'm holding on to the lead this time. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we looked after Grandma's dog, Mossy. But can you remember what Mossy took from the bathroom? Was it a toothbrush? Or was it a toilet roll? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a toilet roll. Watch this. Good girl, Mossy. Stay. No, Mossy! Mossy, come back! No, Mossy! Uh-oh. Mum! Sometimes, when Mossy's a little bit naughty... Oh, Mossy, you little scamp! We know it's definitely time for her walk. I'm going to have to throw this toilet roll away now. <coughs> Hurry up, please, Top 
Lopsy, before Lossie does anything else silly. OK, Mummy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon.